Hey everybody, so look on the screen. Why is he on the screen? He is a decent man that tried to do a good deed. Let's see what happened. This will be part A, then please stick around for part B, which will be a commentary uh, on a separate video. So this is what happens when you try to be a decent person in the hood. Check it out. I have a man shot in the head near a Marta station says it happened as he was trying to do a good deed. That bullet was just centimeters away from taking his life. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight for Fox 5 News Edge at 11. I'm Tom Haynes. The victim's loved one stepped away from his bedside to speak only with News Edge reporter Rob DiRienzo. Rob, how is that victim doing tonight? Hey, Tom, good evening to you. Well, he is still in critical condition, but 46-year-old Derek Watson's family is staying optimistic. They went right back into Grady to be out by his side after we talked. His daughter tells me she's heartbroken, but at the same time, she is so relieved he's still here. Mm. It's been very emotional for me. Uh, me personally, I can't sit in the room with him without tearing up. 46-year-old Derek Watson's loved one, state doctors, rushed him into surgery Monday night after someone shot him from a car on Westlake Avenue in southwest Atlanta near the Marta station. Family members say seconds before, he lent his phone to a woman who was just assaulted. Being the warm, kind-hearted person that Derek is, he didn't hesitate to pull out his phone to hand it to her when a car drove by and shot him in the head. I <sighs> haven't released any footage of that car. Medics rushed Watson to Grady, where his family says doctors took him right into surgery. The bullet lodged in his brain. My mind is kind of spinning right now to the point I probably can't return back to school right now. His daughter, Deja, goes to school at Albany State. She raced back to Atlanta after she found out what happened to her dad. Mm -hmm. I just want the suspect to be found and punished for his crimes because my dad didn't deserve it because he could have died and then I would have been fatherless. Watson's family says the father of three is a hardworking man shot for doing a good deed. He is somebody, he is somebody's child and he have a family that love him very much. His prognosis is looking good as his family is keeping the faith. God got him, God got him. Just keep praying and hoping for the best. And tonight, Watson's family says he has a long road to recovery ahead of him while doctors figure out the damage done to his brain. They say he may need speech and mobility therapy. Atlanta police confirmed Watson was not the intended target, but they don't have any suspects as of right now. Okay, people, you saw part A. Stick around for part B, the commentary. Oh, my God. Speech.